Hello and welcome back. So I think we're watching a movie with him this time. Uh, doesn't seem like he'll get any new skills. Okay. So in that case, Yukari's cooking. I think that's over with. Okay. Are we finally out of activities now? Looks like that might be it, really. Oh, I guess we already did that too. Okay, so... Does everyone have that second ability now? Uh, where can we even find that? Yeah, here we go. Personality... Reduces SP cost of recovery skills. So some of them have. Okay, Junpei still needs one more thing. And Akihiko. So everyone can get two abilities, it looks like. Okay, well, today there's not a whole lot to pick from. But I think maybe the monk is hanging around at the club. Yep, he is. Okay. Well, that tells us where we're going. Ah, we could have just gone straight to the play. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Let's see what we get. And that's... Yeah, there's going to be a lot less to do in the evenings now. Huh? Okay, we'll just hang out with him. Okay, and we're heading straight into... Oh, we're heading straight into a shadow, aren't we? Kind of forgot about that, but here we are. Excuse me. The lost are growing in numbers. I did know that. Yes. Um... Morning... Oh Pay boy. Close attention, all right? Exams start in 10 days, a week from Tuesday. Oh shit. Okay, let's start on page 125. The younger generation is creating its own language in cyberspace. Elite speak. Um, oh, we're definitely paying attention to this one. That reminds me. We just need our academics to go up. There we go. It's gonna take a while still, but if we do some study sessions, we might be able to do it. Uh, Fuka, Yuko, or Yukari? Mm. I mean, I guess Fuka is a lower rank, so to even it out, we can do her. Pun. Almost not intended, but sort of intended. Oh. Yep, here we go. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Remember how I told you I wanted to improve my cooking? Well, I've been trying a lot since then, but I can never seem to get the taste right. I still don't have a feel for how much salt to add. How do you do it? Mm. Just a dash or two? A dash? Oh, so speed is important? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Wait, what? I've just been pouring it in slowly. I'll try and remember that. Uh, can we correct her? To tell you the truth. Okay, I guess we're moving on. I was actually hoping I could make something you'd really like. But I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. Ah, uh, just keep trying. <laughs> Maybe cooking just isn't for me. <sighs> oh, sorry. I know you're just trying to help me, and all I'm doing is being negative. Um. Uh... Practice makes perfect. That's true. I've only just started. I can't let this keep me down. Maybe I should try taking notes. 
That might help me figure out what I'm doing wrong. Well, I actually have quite a lot of trouble staying optimistic about things. In my head, I always imagine something going horribly wrong. That's why sometimes I feel like giving up when I'm cooking. But you know, when I'm around you or the rest of the team, I never think like that. You've all given me so much confidence in myself. So, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. That's why I want to show you all my gratitude. All right. Well, we could start with the whole dash misinterpretation, but I guess we're just moving on. Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. Actually, it might be a little too advanced for me. The library might have some books for beginners, though. Mm. But in that case, I can't really read while cooking. I wouldn't want to get the pages dirty. Uh, I'll help you find something. You don't mind? But... Um, I don't know. If we're looking for books, that means we'd need to go to the bookstore. Well, I mean, there's one right there. It's not a big deal or anything, but I don't really like going to bookstores. Okay, that's a weird thing to be worried about. Oh my gosh! When did it get so late? I have to go! Um, the hairdryer burned out, so I was planning on fixing it. But I was hoping to get it done before Yukari-chan and the others got back. Sorry, do you mind if we up the pace on the way back? Yeah, we can do a jog. Welcome okay, back. well... We'll be in standby in the dorms tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I guess today is a normal day then. Um, Junpei can get an ability. Akihiko, maybe. Hey. So dance, if you wanna go ahead, do whatever you Hang on. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay, no new ability at the moment, but. And I think this Akihiko situation might be good. Apparently. Yeah. Let's see. We get more because of... Hang on, yeah. let me just see if there's anyone else before we decide on anything. Nah, not really. We do have a... Mutatsu is apparently available though. Ah, we can watch the thing with him. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so we're moving towards a new ability. Each side had one win and one loss. A serious all or nothing match. And the fact that they were lifelong rivals only helped them push each other to the top. Do you have anyone you'd consider a rival? Uh, you're my rival. Let's go with that. <laughs> Interesting. I think facing off against you would make for a good match, but I have no intention of losing. Maybe we should try sparring sometime. Anyways, you'd have to be really lucky to find a partner like that. All the athletes from the other schools avoid me, so it's tough finding an opponent to spar with. And uh, I don't think a long-time childhood friend is quite the same thing as a rival. Oops, my phone is doing things. But hey, it's not supposed to do that. Case. I'll just keep polishing my skills until I find the right person. Let's see... The right person. Oh well. well. <laughs> Sorry. We were supposed to be relaxing, but... I just ended up talking the whole time. Let's do this again. I'll put on some real good matches then. Courage. Alright. I mean, we don't need it anymore, but I'll... Could we put those points in academic? Okay, no, I guess not. I didn't notice the time. Before you go to sleep? You want to crack a raw egg for some protein first? I guess. I guess we're doing that. Uh, Sunday. Here we go. Here it is. Anything happening? 
Okay. Shadow should be appearing. Here we go. Oh, hopefully we're ready for this and not under leveled or anything. I've located the target. It's in the Iwatodai Station Plaza. This will be the tenth shadow. Only a few left. Let's just worry about them one at a time. If they actually appear one at a time, we don't need two at once again. Yukari-chan, how did you know? I sensed two of them. Oh, crap. What? Seriously? Me and my big mouth. Where's Shinji? He notified me that he'll be joining us later. He didn't say why, though. That's kind of sketchy. Figures. He's always played by his own rules. I wonder what's going on. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. You said he'd join us later, right? Yeah, that's already better than a certain someone who didn't show last time. Well, he was kidnapped. Hey, come on, that wasn't my fault. Don't worry, I'm totally ready to go this time. See? Wait. Amada Kun isn't here either. Hey, Junpei, go get him. That'll be your punishment for last time. Punishment? What is this, kindergarten? Well, I guess it is a kid's bedtime. Oh well. Alright, we've got two targets this time. Let's get moving. Does that count as... Okay. We'll decide on our team formation once we get there. I'm not sure if that counts as shadow number 10 or... 11. I'm not sure about that. Hello. Oh, there they are. This is the route we always take to school. We've got to protect it. It's almost like they're waiting for us. By the way, where's Amada? Uh, he wasn't in his room, so who knows? Shinji's late too. Well, it would be kind of nice to know where they are. Um, we should probably hurry. I think they're about to make their move. Then we have no choice. Let's organize a team from the members we have here. Once we're set, we'll move in. Okay. Well, based on what we know, I think we want hockey. We kind of need a healer, right? Hey. Uh, oh, actually, this team formation is probably what I want to use. So. I'm thinking we'll just save it there and do it. Yes. Yep, let's do it. Let's see what this is like. Standing by to provide support. Be careful out there. Okay, they certainly look weird. Mm-hmm. Weird as hell. What? What? The uh, arcana. No way to attack it now. You'll have to defeat the strength arcana first. Okay, I guess we'll. I'm still setting up. Okay, we can analyze that. Let's try fire then. Or race. Hmm, we don't have any theories ready yet, so we can start with defense. Let's play defense a little bit to begin with. This will do the trick. And lower that thing's defense. Should be a good place to start. What next? And from here, well, I guess we can just keep doing debuffing. Okay, and then lower. That's not going to work on the other one though. Um. Is that going to be worth it, or should we just try an attack? Let's try an attack. Let's see what happens. Its defense is down anyway. Okay, that did almost nothing. Okay, good thing we have our increased defense. What in the crap is this? Okay, this is fucking weird. Roulette. It 
Looks like wherever it stops, it will activate a different effect. Red hurts, and blue helps. Allies and enemies, it doesn't discriminate. Where it stops is random, and I can't predict it. But either way, be careful. What the heck just happened? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, what certainly do? something weird. Um, you can try fire now. It has increased attack now, though. That's not good. We'll try fire. Okay, that's not it. We can try our Bufu. It's probably not gonna do too much either, just normal. I have to do this. And I guess we'll just try Garu. Not sure what's gonna happen with the roulette thing next round though. One step at a time. Lower its attack. Or Gigantic Fist. Let's try Gigantic Fist. Oh crap, okay, that's bad. Okay, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna need some healing on Akihiko after this. Uh, light. Virus Breath. Almighty damage with medium chance of poison. Not sure if that thing can be poisoned. But let's try light damage. Okay, that does nothing. Mm. Uh, okay, slash. Resist. Okay, that's not great. What next? And here is where we do some healing. Luckily, TOG bars are filling up nicely. Okay, this should do some decent damage, especially since he has defense down. Okay. Here we go, new wheel. So, okay, 300 HP. Can't go down just yet. Oh shit, okay, that's bad, but we do have healing. An attack left to fate, targeting both friend and foe. What to do? Can it still be called an attack? Um, what have we not tried? Did I scan on this enemy? Analysis complete. Okay, well, there's no weakness to speak of. Uh, so we should be going for something that can maybe heal. And it has reflect on strike. Mm. This one has almighty damage. Let's see, this... 45, is that our highest level? Okay, we can try the almighty thing, see what that does. I mean, it does something, but nothing crazy. What's the plan here? Hmm... Okay, we can make sure the defense stays lowered. And now we're gonna need that healing. Hopefully that actually heals a decent amount. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Okay, here we go. We definitely need this. Nice. Okay. I'll take care of this. Well, from there. One step at a time. Can we not lower that attack? I think we should be able to, right? Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna need to debuff them again. Okay, hopefully this isn't gonna do a bunch of damage to us again. Ooh, it can still land on 300 HP. Which would basically just kill us. <laughs> Defense for everyone decreased. The strength our common possesses is immense mm. fortitude. Well, in that case, if we go to him, we can get our defense back up. And then we have a Fear G that we definitely should use. Okay, so far we're doing decent damage to this guy. I'm not sure when we're going to be able to damage the other thing, though. But looking at our health, we actually need to do it again. So we got to save that Fear G for next round. The best bet would be. Um, I guess just shock. Lower its attack. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, damn, that's good. Yep, that doesn't do a whole lot. So here we go. Mm, heavy ice. Yeah, let's do that. Not sure if we can freeze this thing. Probably not. Nope. Or who knows, it might be possible, but it's not happening. Its defense is already down, so at that point... I suppose just hit it with Bufu. And now we're straight up for a Theurgy here. Perfect. Alright! Here I go! Okay. Okay, now we are getting pretty close to killing this thing. Mm, and then I guess we'll just hit it with some lightning. Okay, it's starting. Oh no, heat wave. You're trying to hit me. Okay, no one died, so. Okay, well, we don't. Yeah, we should be able to survive anything that happens. Okay, what does that do? Magic strength increase for all allies. Well, if that's the case, I think this... Low chance of freeze, heavy fire. Does fire just do more damage in general? I'm not really sure. But we want to hit it with magic now, that's for sure. This should kill it, I think. I'm not, not sure what's going to happen to the other one. Okay, so now that's possible to attack. Strength has been defeated. I can detect Fortune's presence again. Your attack should land now. Okay, hopefully we don't have to kill that thing over and over. I see. So this is what we're Strike and lightning. What next? Okay. Strike and lightning. Could we... I think this is going to be worth it. To get that in on this round. And then we can do one more on Creep, and then one on Akihiko. Okay. And then Strike, apparently, is also a weakness. I suspect the other thing is going to wake up and we have to kill it again, which I'm not stoked about, so I want to kill this quickly. Okay, now we can use Herculean Strike to do some maximum damage. Here we go. This should hurt it quite a bit. Yep, there we go. I think we'll be able to end it here. 
Or at least we're pretty close. Okay. We've already scanned this one. I'm ready. I'm guessing. Oh shit! No fuck! It's gonna heal it. I didn't see that. It was kind of too late. Now's the time. Okay, let's, let's do. do this. Just make sure we don't have to revive the enemy. Right. And then if Akihiko comes in after this, we should be fine. Yeah, Okay, it's close. Oh no, please don't tell me it's gonna heal or something. I have a really bad feeling about this roulette board. We almost, uh, if we didn't accidentally heal it. Okay, what happened now? Nothing happened. A misfire, huh? Okay, let's kill this fucking thing. Okay, is that it? Or is it gonna fuse? Oh, we did it. Okay, we did it. It's fine. Garudine, so that's replacing this. Good job, every Oh man, it's exhausting dealing with two of them at once. The two claiming to be Strega did not interfere this time. It's probably because we have their navigator. They can't outmaneuver us now. Anyway, I'm glad everything went well. Still, Aragaki Senpai never showed, huh? Amatakun, too. <laughs> the chairman doesn't seem to be too concerned. He's already headed home. Yamagishi, do you know where they are? Sorry, I haven't been able to locate them yet. Let's return to the dorm for the time being. Akihiko, are you listening? Today is October 4th, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> go on back without me. I'm gonna go look for them. Wait, Senpai! I wonder what's up. Akihiko. Probably something with that backstory about the parents of Amana or something. You came, just like we agreed. <clears throat> Do you know why I called you here? You probably have an idea, since you skipped the operation for it. Two years ago today, on October 4th, that was the day my mom died here. They called it a car accident, but it wasn't. I saw the whole thing. I saw my mom get killed. You murdered her! Uh. Since then, not one good thing has happened. Just being alive is torture. And all I get from people is sympathy, no matter where I go. What's the point of living like this? I've even thought about killing myself. But I wouldn't be able to face mom like that. That's why... I vowed to live until I found her killer. You! I once heard you say you wanted to forget what you did on that day. So, when I realized it was a full moon today, I knew I had to confront you. Today, Mom is with me. I'll make you remember what you did to her. I'm gonna kill you! <sighs> Do it. Okay, well that escalated quickly. No one else is back yet? Man, I wonder why Sonata-san was acting so weird. Something about the date? What's so special about October 4th? Oh boy. October 4th. That's right. I was so focused on the operation that I didn't realize it. Today is the anniversary of the day Amada's mother was killed. She was killed? Yamagishi, I need you to locate Aragaki and Amada immediately. There's a good chance they'll be together. Akihiko must have already realized it. I, I'm on it. 
Uh, what's going on? Public records say that Amada's mother was killed in an accident, but in truth, we were the ones responsible for her death. What? It happened two years ago, when we were hunting down a shadow that appeared in the city. Aragaki had only just awakened his persona, and he lost control of it for a moment. We'd been so focused on the shadow, we hadn't accounted for any civilians in the area. Unfortunately, there was one casualty. It was Amada's mother. No way! Are you kidding me? Wait, so to Amada-kun, Aragaki-senpai is... So it's like a Batman situation, sort of. I should have considered this when Amada volunteered to join us. It's possible that he... I found them! They're at Tatsumi Port Island! They're together, and I'm picking up someone else, too. Is it Akihiko? Wait, this is... No, it's Striga! Oh boy, they're getting involved. Hey, isn't that a problem? Yes. This couldn't be worse! Senpai! Come on, we gotta follow her! Alright! Okay, well... Do it. I won't stop you. You're right. I just wanted to forget. That's why I left everyone behind. And tried to use the drugs to suppress my power. But... Nothing I did could erase the memory. No matter what I do... I always end up back here. <sighs> it's my fault. This is what I deserve. But I gotta give you a warning. A warning? You take my life, and you're going to end up just like me. You better be prepared for that. What? Are you begging for your life? Even if all you have now is hatred, one day you'll regret it. Shut up! That's bullshit! I must say, I agree. Oh boy. <laughs> These are not his sins to bear. That is the nature of revenge. Is it not permissible to kill those who are themselves killers? Uh, that's right. What do you want? Losing one of our own has posed a slight challenge for us, but... We cannot simply turn a blind eye to all the trouble you've caused. You bastard. Fear not. This life is but a stepping stone. I shall deliver unto you both salvation. What'd you say? My. Protecting your would-be murderer? Oh. That's right. Whether or not to this boy's revenge, you are fated to die regardless. What does he mean? You've been taking those suppressants for some time now. You don't have much longer. That's bullshit! Listen to your body. The signs have already begun. What are you talking about? You're just going to die? No matter what? Even if I don't do anything? That's not fair! This is all I've been living for! What was even the point then? Maybe the point was the friends slash revenge enemies we made along the way. The cause of death is hardly of importance. Besides, the breath of life is faint in you as well, child. You were planning to join him once the deed was done, were you not? Mara, what? This may be a bit ill-timed, but no matter. It matters not whose life I take first. You're both destined to perish anyway. Shut the fuck up! This would be a good time for Akihiko to show up. No. 
Now then, with what life you have left, answer me this. There is a navigator in your rank similar to Chidori, is there not? You've been killing the shadows we wish to protect with startling efficiency before we can even arrive. Tell me, which one of you is it? If you don't expedite your answer, then this will hurt you more than it hurts me. Oh, crap. <laughs> What's wrong? Cat got your tongue. Or are you ready to talk? <laughs> There's no one. Hmm. Well, that's a lie. Wait! It's me. Oh, no. Don't do that. Really, now? It's the truth. That's the only reason they let me join. Even though I'm a kid. And who are you? Ugh. Oh boy. Just stay Quiet. down, I guess. I wasn't talking to you. Hippie Jesus. It I was not talking to now. you, my friend. I'll never have my revenge. I don't have any reason to live. What's the point in fighting anymore? I see. So, you accept salvation. Oh, here he comes, hippie Jesus. What a beautiful end to your life. Very well. You shall go first. Rest peacefully. Akihiko. Mom. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> Jeez, is he actually gonna die? After this just joining our party? For? What reason could you possibly have to risk your life for this child? <laughs> Shinji! <laughs> I suspect we have to fight your this guy now. Companions? How very unfortunate. The fun had just begun. Or he just leaves, okay. Damn, this guy's pretty fucking Shinji! cold hearted. Hang in there! Aragaki! Senpai! Aragaki san! I guess hospital is out of the question. Oh shit, okay. surprising I thought okay I assumed that he could not die because we just had him added to our party and 
you know, we bought equipment for him. I had just assumed the game would keep him around. Did we... F oh, damn, did we fuck it up and we got like a bad ending or something? Huh. I don't know. No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. He had a lifetime of opportunity ahead of him. As educators, we are to blame for ignoring his silent calls for help. We tragically lost him to senseless violence before we had a chance to help him realize his true potential. Forgive us. Forgive us for our negligence. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> he just never stops talking. I'd never even heard of any Aragaki. Had you? I heard he never came to school. Probably just some punk. Oh, I just want to get home. I gotta study for my mock exam. Hey, you guys know who this Aragaki is? Kind of. Hey, you're not even in the same year. No way you'd know him then. Anyways, it's crazy that stuff like this really happens, huh? Shut your mouth. Huh? What the hell's your problem? Shut up. Huh? What are you getting up for? I said shut the hell up! Iori, sit down. Damn it! Just ignore them, Junpei. Hey, have you seen Sonata Senpai today? Um, no. Uh, I, uh, I guess not. Why? He was absent this morning. I wonder if he'll show up at all. I hope he's okay. Well, that was a big surprise that they actually just killed him off like that. Do you have a moment? Oh, sure. When you get back today, let's meet in the lounge. I think you all know the reason. Right. I don't expect you to have your thoughts in order. I'm not even sure what to do myself. All right, I'll see you then. Oh, well, holy shit, this whole situation just got... Well, Damn. This'll be a fun meeting. Yeah. Hey. At the usual for lunch. I was wondering what ramen tastes like when you skip class. It's surprisingly good. You could have invited me at least once, you know. Come on, say something. Why do you have to be like that? Always going off without saying a word. Put yourself in my shoes for a change. You think it's the other way around? Yeah, you're right. I was always the one running off on my own. I was too obsessed with getting stronger ever since I lost Miki. That's all I've cared about. I thought if I was strong enough, I could protect anyone. But I was wrong. And now you're gone too. God, it's like the world is laughing at me. I knew what we were getting into. I knew we were putting our lives on the line. But I was so focused on fighting that I didn't see anything else. It doesn't matter how strong I was. Look what happened! <laughs> I know, Shinji. Crying won't change anything, right? I don't need you to tell me that. In the end, I can't run away from who I am. I've had enough of this. 
Oh shit, we're getting an evolution here. Caesar, okay. Oh, that's... Oh. It's a new... Okay, that's really good. Although it comes at a... Rest kinda easy, Shinji. Shit moment. You just watch from there with me. I've still got a job to do. Isn't that right? Well, this episode got... You all know the reason we're gathered Hectic. Here. We need to discuss how to deal with Amada. I've already consulted the chairman. I guess, bring him here. Understood. It's my fault. I knew it was strange when Aragaki-senpai told me he'd be late, but I didn't say anything. If I'd only listened to my intuition, this wouldn't have happened. This isn't on you. It's not your fault. That's right. It's not your fault. If there's anyone who should have realized, it's me. I should have been taking things more seriously, too. I knew this wasn't a game. But I never thought it'd end up like this. There's no point dwelling on the past. Shinji's last words were, this is how it should be. He was a hell of a guy. <laughs> he even faced death with a smile. So, from this day forward, I'll face things head on too. This is how it should be. Senpai. Reporting in. Amada-san is not in his room. Oh, crap. Oh, it's happening again. He's not? Evidence indicates that his window has been pried open. Amada-kun! Oh, have they kidnapped him now? Wait, Fuka, where are you going? Do you even know where to look? Well, no, but we can't just let him go off on his own, right? You're just gonna run around without a clue? You'll never find him like that. Maybe not, but we have to try. Amada-kun has nowhere else to go. I know exactly how that feels. Uh, I guess let's look for him. But where do we even look? Well, anywhere Strega might be. You of all people should understand, Yukari-chan! Fuka! I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Give him some time. Dragging him back won't change how he feels. And we can't protect him forever. Akihiko! It's his choice. He's the only one who can decide how to live his life. We all choose our own paths. Oh damn. Okay, well What are we what are we supposed to do now? He's just gone. I really hope that was unavoidable and not something that I messed up because I didn't make the right choices or something. That kind of happened to me when I was playing The Witcher 3. Just everything. I just got like a terrible ending just because I picked some dialogue options along the way that weren't great. Okay, well, for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.